Vegetation harvesting is a method we can use as an alternative to herbicide treatment. And it uses mechanical harvesters like the excavators or floating harvesters that can physically remove plant material that would otherwise cause flooding and also are harboring a lot of nutrients that we're trying to get out from getting into the lagoon. We've identified approximately 35 to 40 miles of canals that need to have the vegetation removed. We're specifically down the southwest quadrant of the district, which is southwest Palm Bay. In total, Melbourne Tillman maintains over 163 miles of canals. For many decades in the past, we relied exclusively on herbicides to control vegetation in our ponds. And controlling the vegetation is important because that vegetation can trigger flooding concerns. So we viewed the vegetation exclusively as a problem that needed to be addressed. Now we view it as an opportunity. You're farming out the nutrients that are trapped in that vegetation. By harvesting it, we're removing the nutrients. And at the same time, you're removing a threat to flooding. We're 100 years old this year, so some of our equipment seems like it's been 100 years here, but this, this program's helping out us to get some funding to help purchase another long reach. So we'll have two, we'll keep this one, and we'll have another one, and we'll be able to actually get out there and, and clean these canals more frequently. The canals in areas like Palm Bay collect water and help control flooding in these areas, but they're also collecting all the nutrients that come from people's homes, like fertilizer and septic systems. So the Save Our Indian River Lagoon Plan is working to try to reduce some of these other nutrient inputs too, so it slows down the accumulation of the nutrients in these canals. So we're working to remove septic systems or upgrade them where we can't. We're also trying to educate homeowners on the proper use of fertilizer cutting out entirely. There's programs like the Lagoon Loyal program that people can learn simple things they can do around their home to help reduce their own nutrients. The University of Florida IFAS has recently started up a soil guardian program where people can test their soil and see if they even need fertilizer. So being able to cut fertilizer and other nutrients out at the source before they get into these canals is very important to the health of the Indian River Lagoon.